Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And today we are going to understand the mean function in column aggregator in NIME. So for this, we will go in the canvas of NIME. I'll activate table creator this time. Because I want to create the data here only. Double click on it. A node will appear. Double click on the node. You will get rows and columns. Let us see. We are entering the marks of two sections, section A and section B. So, 45, 35, 15, 56, and 23. Here, we'll enter the marks of second section, 35. Uh, let's see, it is 47, 25, 16, and 45. We want to name this. So, column properties, we'll name this as section A. Make sure you change this to the integer. Click OK. Done. Again, right click on it, column properties, change this to section B. And make this number integer. Click OK. So, section A and section B, apply, click OK, right click on it, execute. Now, I want to take the average of these two sections. So, for this, I'll activate column aggregator from here. Right click on it. When you'll do the double click on it, both the nodes will get connected. Right click, configure. Now, section A and B are included here. Click on options. We want to calculate the mean of this. So for this, I'll click on mean add and click apply, click OK. Now right click on it, execute. And you go in table with the aggregation columns. Quite good. You can see here the mean of two sections have appeared. So 45 plus 35 divided by 2, it's mean 35 plus 47, the mean. So, in column aggregation, there are many more functions which you can use. So, you can calculate all the statistic, statics, uh, statistical functions like correlation, count, covariance, kurtosis, mean, median, mode, range, quantile from here and standard deviation. So, this is a way you can use mean function in column aggregator in NIME. For more videos on NIME, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos on NIME.